Well, hey everyone, how you doing today? It's Simeon with you again. You know, a couple nights ago, I was on the overnight radio show, Coast to Coast AM, uh, which I've been on a few times over the years. You know, it's a huge overnight radio show where all sorts of interesting topics are discussed, something I've been listening to for many years. And one of the neat things that happened was, as a result of being on the show, uh, my book, Opening Minds, went to number one in one of the categories on Amazon, which is in science and math, there's a category for fractals, fractal geometry. It's a type of applied mathematics. And you may have seen examples of fractals before. You know, these are the beautiful self-repeating shapes. It's the shape of nature, the shapes of mountain ranges and rivers, and fractals even describe the way our bodies are shaped in terms of the structure of our hair, the bronchial system, the lungs, and our veins, the arteries. Fractals are any sorts of object which look the same no matter what scale you're looking at them, whether you're looking at them from far away or close, they have the same sort of branching, fracturing, fractal structure. Now, what's really interesting about this for me is before I got interested in all of these topics that you know me for now on YouTube and other places, you know, crop circles and resonant viewing and UFOs and extraterrestrial encounters and all of these other phenomena that I think of as being part of this reciprocal resonant space that we're all in. Before all of that, actually, I was interested in fractal geometry. In fact, fractals are what got me interested in this whole other area of subtle energy and resonant energy systems because fractal geometry shows you, rather than looking at everything in a linear Euclidean way, looking at everything as if it were a line, you actually also need to pay attention to the spaces between the lines and all of the other shapes that we find around us. And so it's actually this area of science and math that led me to the whole area of remote viewing, resonance, and all of these other really neat and exciting phenomena that go along with those particular areas that we've all become so interested in. You know, one of the neat things about being on the number one bestseller list in Amazon in this area of fractals is I'm actually around, my book, Opening Minds, is around all the other authors like Benoit, Mandelbrot, and others who actually inspired me to get interested in this area in the first place. So anyway, I just want to say thank you to all the Coast to Coast listeners, and thanks to all of you for all of your support for all these years. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at Opening Minds, you can just go to openingminds.info. I'd be glad to send you a signed copy. You can also download the book from the Kindle store, and there's also a version of it on iTunes, an audiobook, where I read it to you word for word with all the thrills and chills of each chapter. Unabridged, I'll read it for you. You can find it on iTunes if you take a look for Opening Minds. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks very much again, and we'll be talking with you soon. Take care. Bye.